Bigger deal for Lakers, the Kobe ceremony or pushing the Warriors to OT? Okay, let me tell you what happened with the producers of this television show when they came in today. They're like, okay, we got to do Falcons. we got to do Monday Night Football. Everybody's got to do something off of Monday Night Football. Do we have a second question? Does anyone have a second question? And the answer is like, no. How about we compare and contrast things that happened at the Laker games so we could just talk about the Lakers? And Kobe's jerseys, plural, were retired last night. The Lakers are a franchise with a past that's stuck in the middle right now, wanting to be the Kobe days, but they need better players. These young players players aren't going to get them there in their current form. And so what we're talking about, what happened last night, doesn't matter. That team in that form cannot catch the Warriors. They need to add something so they have something like what they had when they had Kobe. I'm a little anxious about once again bringing up statistics to immediately refute Dan's point. Oh, no. But Lonzo was pretty good last night. Oh, no. He uh, scored 16 points off 50% shooting, and he's quietly been good really over the last few weeks or so and is improving at a great rate. That said, I did love Kobe making everyone watch him, watch his own video, which starred him and had his own voice. That was just Pete Kobe. Okay, she's beating me now on two questions as this show morphs into first take. And <laughs> the next question I hope doesn't have Mina's mother sitting where my father is. <laughs> it's not a competition. I got a piece of advice for Alonso, you know? change your number twice so in that way you got three jerseys up there in the future not two but three. Oh, that's the way that you can be better than kobe just keep changing Multiple jerseys. numbers can you change dads <laughs>